Coach Kim here, seasoned personal trainer, ready to give you 20 minutes of abs of steel. Now some of you are saying, how do I get that six pack? And you know the six pack I'm talking about? Well, yes, doing these type of activities that you're getting ready to do with the abs helps and is great. But remember, it, abs start in the kitchen as well. So be mindful with those uh, eating healthy diet. So we'll talk about that more about that later, but just remember we got 20 minutes of abs. So get that floor mat, put that smile on and let's get ripped. We're gonna work those obliques. So we're gonna get on our side. I'd like you to put your arm at a 90 degree. I'd like you to put your knee, if you don't mind, right underneath your other leg. So in other words, not hanging out here, put the leg right underneath and you're gonna do a little hip dip. It's a little lateral plank up and come back down. Good. It's a little hip dip down to the side and up, very effective for these sides. And who doesn't like to work their sides, right? Good, down and up. And remember, you can't out-exercise a bad diet. You're gonna hear me saying that a lot too. All the way up. I know you don't wanna hear it, but some of us need to hear it, including me. I like to hear that from time to time, all the way up and down. Good, now to stack your feet, some of you are more advanced, down and up. You're welcome to try it this way, but I will tell you, it does put more load on that shoulder. So if you have shoulder issues or you're not as advanced, you're gonna put your knee down. So this works for everybody. If you're more advanced, stack the feet together, up. If not, drop to the knee and that's just fine. Are you doing this? Yeah, that's a little bit of a cheat too. And that's fine if you need to, but I'd like your hand up here if you can. And let's hold that's five, four, three, hold it up, two, one, very nice. So uh, we're gonna get into a plank. I know you've heard a lot about planks. I like you, and you can do it on your knees as well. So I'm showing you the options of harder and easier. And as I always say, please pick what works for you. So you're gonna get into a plank position. I'd like your palms facing up. What I don't wanna see is your back sagging or your butt up in the air. So hold yourself into a plank position, breathing in your nose, out your mouth. If your back hurts at any time, drop to the knee, reset, regroup, lift it back up. Hold, hold, hold. Tummy tight as you're head in line with your body. Lift your palms up. Oh, we're keeping everything in line. And that's five, four, are you feeling this? Three, two, one. Drop to those knees. Sit back into a nice little child's pose. Hold that stretch, but don't get used to it because this is not yoga. This is Coach Kim's abs of steel. So stack those feet, put that knee directly underneath. We're gonna start with the hip dip on the other side. We can't make things uneven. We have to make it even. You won't feel right all day, right? Up and down. And remember these abs do start in the kitchen. And you know what? That came right out of my fitness journal. Come back down. So I'm just not making this stuff up. So ask yourself, are you eating those fruits and vegetables with every meal? Whoo, and just limiting the junk food. 80-20. I eat 80% healthy every day and 20% not so healthy. And don't feel guilty about that 20%. You work hard, up. But if you're eating 80-20, you're on a great track and a great plan. And I talk about food because that's how you get those abs. I've been in fitness over 30 years. Trust me, just trust me, try it. Even just for a week, write everything down. Hold it up, five, four, three, two, hold it up, one. Back to the plank. So roll over. And remember, knees, if you have back issues, if not, hold it up, head in line with your body. Is your butt up in the air? Let's get it down, get that butt down, but don't sag it. Pull the belly button into spine. Are you breathing? Breathe, breathe in, breathe out. This is working the core. Breathe in, but you already knew that, didn't you? And breathe out, one more breath. Breathe in, breathe out, drop to the knees. Good, it's always nice to do a little stretch after doing some ab work. So you're gonna find that I segue naturally into some good lower back stretches. So, you're not done with me yet. We gotta work these abs. So you, you wanna fit into those jeans that are sitting on the bottom of your drawer? Well, we've gotta work for it. Just doesn't happen overnight. So put your arms in a 90 degree, same side plank position. Put your hand up above your head. You're gonna pull the knee down and up. Oh, it's kinda of fun, isn't it? You're doing a little side crunch. You're gonna lift up that elbow to knee. If you can touch it, that's great. Breathe, hold your hip up. Now those of you, if it's too much load, you can drop your hip down and do it this way. I'm perfectly fine with that, okay? This works for everybody. And I'm just proud that you're doing it. And pull elbow to knee, up, breathe. Good, let's get three more. In three, a couple more. And two, 
One more and one. Good. Now this next one. Oh, I like this one. Why? Because it not only works your abs, it's good for your brain. Okay. Exercise is actually uh, really good for the brain. You're going to lay on your back with your feet up tabletop, put your arms up, palms facing towards each other. If my left leg goes down, my right arm goes back, biceps to the ears, come back up, alternate. This is called dead bug. Yeah. I'm going to get that rate out. Bring it up. Opposite arm. Opposite. Good. So keep your back flat the entire time if you can. Okay. It does take coordination. Some of you are probably going, Oh my God, my left arm and my right leg. And I'm, there's so much to think about. Just try it for me. I promise you'll get it. Okay. So let me slow it down so you can get it. Left leg goes down, right arm goes back, then reset. Right leg goes down, left arm goes back, reset. Keep going. Now by me keeping the legs up at a 90 degree is helping keep that back flat. So this tends to work really great with people with back and neck issues. My neck's relaxed and keeping my knee bent helps with my lower back. So it's kind of a win-win exercise actually. So down, up, keep your back flat, down, up. It's kind of funny looking like a bug. Down and up, good. Hug the knees to chest. Okay, I didn't forget about your other side. We're flipping on this side. Guess what we're doing? I didn't forget about you. Put that knee down. Side plank, hold it up, arm up. Yes. Just like we did on the other side, we've got to even it out. So bring that elbow to knee, breathe out as you crunch down. Good. And again, if this is too much load, just do it with your hip on the ground. Okay. Perfectly fine. You're thinking about the core. Pull it up and breathe. Yes. I know you're getting excited about all those fruits and vegetables that you're planning to start incorporating. You're going to shop the outer perimeter of the stores from now on out because that's where all that good healthy food is. Good. Let's get a couple more. One more and perfect. Good. So we're going back to your dead bug. Abs of steel it is. Mm-hmm. On your back. Feet up. Notice how I'm at a 90 degree. Don't let the calves sag. Hold the calves up. Put your palms facing each other. And then remember, as the left leg goes down, right arm goes back. Perfect. Keep that back flat. Back flat. Mm-hmm. And those of you with shoulder issues, it's actually really nice to extend that arm back behind you. Get that shoulder moving a little bit. Okay. You're just using your arm as weight. There's no weights. Back and forth, back flat. Good. Dead bug it is. Very nice. Keep your back flat. I'm going to keep reminding you because you start thinking about other things. Maybe your laundry, your dryer just went off and you're being distracted with the phone ringing. But you know what? This is about you right now working this exercise about working your body, clearing your mind. So everything else can wait. It's all about you and you got to love yourself first before you can love and take care of others. So keep moving and I'm proud of you for it. Okay. Pull both knees into chest, hug those knees. I like to rotate my ankles, get some motion is lotion going in the ankles. Good, good, good. Now you thought you were done with me. You're not. We're going to get into another side plank. I want you to lift that leg and you're just going to lift and lower. Now the advantage of this besides doing the abs on the sides is your side right here. Okay. Very good. If this is too much load on the shoulder, drop your hip down. I'm perfectly fine with that. But this is getting muscles called your abductors. These are the stabilizer muscles to the knee. So look, you're getting a bonus. I'm getting so excited for you because you're not only working the core, you're working the outer leg. Perfect. I love working multiple muscles at the same time. Whew, this is why this is abs of steel and I'm feeling it. I have to tell you guys, this is not easy. Let's get one more up and down. Good. Let's go ahead and switch to the other side. Actually, you know what? I have another one I'd like to do with you. <laughs> yes. I'm thinking about you. I want you to go ahead and hold those feet up, get your back flat. We're going to very similar to the dead bug, but I'm going to have you go ahead. If you have a weight, you can grab a weight, bring both arms back at the same time. Good. Back flat and up. If you have like a little bit of medicine ball or maybe a five pound dumbbell holding it by the butt ends, you can make this harder back flat. The difference is instead of one arm at a time, you're going both arms back. Good. And this is called a press and reach back. Keep the legs up. Good. Let's get one more each. 
back flat and up. Now extending my legs all the way out bothers your back, just bend the knees. Remember that with anything we do with the levers here. Bending the knees does help the back. Cut. Last one here. So you're gonna hold yourself up, lift, and lower, lift. Now again, you can sag it down if you're, you're it's a little too much load on the shoulder. Lift and lower. <sighs> Breathe. Oh, you are doing great. You're getting stronger and stronger every day. And you're fun to find. This is gonna get a little easier each time. Let's give three more. Ready? One, and two, and three. Oh, fabulous. We're gonna start with the weakest part of our abs, at least for most of us, and that is your lower stomach. So that movie popcorn, you know, those chocolate covered pretzels and raisins, they all tend to go in our lower abs. So we're gonna be working on that right now. So I'm gonna have you on your back on a nice firm surface. So if you have a yoga mat, a towel, uh, I'd like you to lay on your back with your knees bent. And I'm gonna show people options on how to make things harder or easier. So you do what works for you. Your abs are gonna love this. Your head's gonna be relaxed. I want your hands by your side with your palms facing down. You're gonna lift up both those legs. I want you to hold them up, hold, hold, and then go down nice and slow. Good, now keeping the knees bent. This works great for people with back issues. So you're gonna come up, 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 hold, push down with the hands and come down slow. Perfect. The name of this exercise is called a reverse crunch. Up and again, the target is the lower stomach and down, down, down. And we're going to keep working. Now, if your back even hurts you doing the two legs together, you can always just do one knee at a time, but we're doing some abs of steel here. So if you can, let's do both legs together. Beautiful. Up. And I'm also going to show you a little bit of a harder variation. For those of you, you're, if your back is 110% healthy, you have no issues up and you don't have any back pain, what you can do is extend the legs out straight, then pull the knees in. Oh, I know I felt that. So bringing it out and bringing it in. Now that's only if your lower back does not bother you. Otherwise, let's keep those knees bent. I'd like to get a couple more, lift up and hold. And are you breathing? Make sure you're not holding your breath. Some people naturally, oh, just breathe. Nope, I want you to breathe <sighs> down. So breathe out during the exertion phase. So as you bring the knees up, breathe, hold, come down slow. We're gonna get one more. Lift up, 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 and down slow, good. Now just a quick little stretch, dropping the knees to the side. Again, that lower back, it's always nice to segue into a back stretch when you do ab exercises. Just a quick little knee drop. Your lower back loves you for this because I am prepping you for our next exercise. Perfect, I'd like you to put your one foot on top of the other. I'm using my left leg, I'm gonna support my head what I don't want you to do is tuck the chin. So pretend you got that tennis ball under the chin. My right elbow is going to, towards my left knee. So I'm gonna crunch up, support my neck, and come back down. Now the advantage of this one, we're working a little bit of the obliques, the sides, and your upper abs. Breathe out as you crunch up. Excellent. And look at the ceiling. So look at the ceiling above you. Lift and lower. You're gonna feel this in your tummy. Excellent, and we all wanna have a nice flat tummy. Don't we? Yes. And you know what? Those of you that are getting to know me, and you hear me repeat this a lot, repetition is that key to learning, is do you know the abs first start in the kitchen? All the way up. So it's important we tone it up, but you're not gonna get that skinny abs by just working out your abs, okay? So you, you need to be focusing on your diet, eating like you live on that island. So focus on your portion control and your choices. Okay, switch sides. So put your other foot on top. Hands behind, breathe out, crunch up. And I want you to come up as high as you can, see if you can see me here, to feel that contraction in the abs and back down. So what I don't wanna see is this, okay? You're gonna have a, a neck ache with that. So breathe out, crunch up, and then come back down. Good, I don't know about you all, but are you feeling this in the abs? Yes, I'm sure you are. Breathe out and up, keep going. Let's get a couple more, up. Yes, abs do start in the kitchen. So you start doing this. Oh, and you could do this every other day. Let's get one more. Up and back down. But if you seriously write down everything you eat and drink, you know, download the, the app MyFitnessPal and start staying within your budget of calories and making better food choices, just watch what happens. Really good stuff. All right, next one we're gonna do is go back to that reverse crunch. So hands by your side, you're gonna lift up. I'm doing a second set here and down. I'm gonna let my, sometimes I hold my head up just cause I'm watching you out of habit come back down, but your head is nice and relaxed. So those of you with neck issues, this is a good choice for you. And come back down, good. 
You know what I like to do, and you're gonna laugh at me when I share this with you. My family just ignores me because I've been doing it so long, but when I, the commercial comes on TV, let's so say you're watching a TV show, commercial comes on, you know what you can do? Hold on to the back of the couch and do this exercise. You can get those hips up even a little higher. And so just do, I don't know, why not do 20, 30 crunches, reverse crunches during that commercial? You know what I'm saying? I know, you guys think I'm nuts like my family, but that's okay. All the way up. I'm used to people thinking I'm nuts. Let's get a couple more. Up, up, up. Down. One more. Up, hold, hold, hold. Think abs, think abs, think abs. And drop, hug the knee, actually hug the knees to chest. Again, I like to stretch the lower back anytime we do some ab work. So now we're gonna go back to the one where we did originally, put, or, uh, put one foot over on top of the other. My left leg is uh, my, my left foot sitting on my, my right knee. I'm gonna crunch up and come back down. Again, my eyes are to the ceiling. Breathe out, up, supporting my neck, not pulling my neck. So are you doing this? Haha, <laughs> we need to fix that. Chin off the chest, eyes up, breathe. And let me tell you, I'm gonna share this with you because there's a lot of truth to this. When you think about the muscle you're working, do you know you work that much more? So if you're thinking about your abs right now and the kind of abs you want and how you're feeling them contract, you will work it more than if you're thinking about, oh, I've got to do this for Johnny and I've got to go to the dry cleaners, I've got to make this for dinner. You know what, we're thinking about our abs. Up and down slow. Let's switch up, go to the other side. Put your foot on top, chin off the chest, breathe out, crunch up and back down. Abs, we don't call this abs of steel for nothing. I know you're feeling it, I'm feeling it. All the way up, breathe. I want you to breathe as you come up and come back down. But I promise you, if you all download that free app that my fitness pal I speak about, and there's another one called Lose It on your phones and use it. Don't just download it, but use it. Document everything you eat and drink, make better choices in combination with what you're doing right here. You're gonna see some nice changes with that belly. Up, up, up. Just try it for a week. See what you think. And up, and then come back down. Let's hug those knees to chest again. Hug, hug, hug. Now, we didn't call this abs a steal for nothing, did we? I want those feet up at tabletop. So we're gonna do a good old fashioned exercise called a bicycle crunch, and I want you to crunch. Now, those of you that might have a mini band, I don't know if you know what a mini band is. It's just little round bands, elastic. You can put those around the bottom of your feet. It makes it even harder. I'm just putting it out there. Up, and crunch. Excellent. Eyes to the ceiling. Drop that leg. Now remember, I'm supporting my neck. If you feel it in your neck, we need to revisit how you're holding your neck. Reach out. Oh, those abs are burning for me. How about you? Mm-hmm. You're getting mad at me now, aren't you? Good. I'm glad. That's okay. You'll get over it. And reach. Good. Elbow. Opposite elbow. Opposite knee. Give me another one. Up. Up. One more for fun and lie flat. Hug the knees to chest, good. As a matter of fact, connect those fingers on top, hug them in, because we're getting ready for a second set of bicycle crunches. Yes, they've been around a long, long time. I remember my mom in the 70s doing these, and she also used to have a rolling pin and she'd do this, and I don't know why she was doing that. She thought that would get rid of her stomach, but up, up, up. <laughs> I still laugh to the day of this memory. Reach, so getting the rolling pin out and rolling your stomach won't do anything, okay? Just trust me there. I think I gave you a good laugh. Reach, opposite elbow, opposite knee. Very nice. Now, if you're feeling some back pain, let me show you an option to this. Notice how my legs are bent, okay? So if you have any kind of back pain, bend the knees. Okay, this is a nice option and that support. So this would be the harder version. A nice little easier version is gonna be with the knees bent. How are the abs doing over there? Yes, do you have a six pack yet? <laughs> I'm just kidding, reach. Keep going, we're just gonna stay right here till we get a six pack. Let's get a couple more. One more, up and drop. Let your head relax. Pull those knees into chest, hug the knees. Hug them, hug them, hug them. Guess what we're gonna do? Yes, we're gonna do it again. We're gonna do this one, hands by your side. Lift up, reverse crunch, and then bring it down. Again, those of you with healthy back, extend the legs out straight, okay? Not a healthy back, you keep the knees bent, okay? They're both great. Lift up. So we're gonna do another round of each exercise, which means you have completed three rounds of the reverse crunch, the legs over the knee crunch, followed by the bicycle crunch. Good, up, down, one more, up, one foot on top of the other, lift, good. 
we're just doing a nice ab workout, abs of steel. It's really important to breathing. Are you breathing? Don't hold your breath. Let's get another one. Good. I'm not giving you much rest. That's okay. You have plenty of time to rest after this. Whew. And then I can't wait to see you again. Keep going. And again, you could do this every other day or go by the soreness factor. You can do it every day, but if your stomach is sore or any muscle for that matter, it does need to rest. Hold the feet up, crunch, crunch. So I'm targeting all of your abs, upper, sides, lower, good. You've got three more in you. That's three, two, and one. Thank you for joining me on your abs of steel. Do they feel a little firmer? And yes, remember those abs start in the kitchen. So just promise me you're going to be mindful about getting more fruits and vegetables in your diet. Remember to always check with a physician before starting an exercise program.